to uh, improve and get better this week. Um, I'm really thankful for the, again, the fight and the strain, the toughness to uh, go into a, a week where there's a lot of uh, questions and um, concern, if you will, and uh, thought they did a great job of managing um, uh, the week and uh, focusing on what they need to do to uh, improve and get better, take another step forward. Um, a lot that was really good in this game and some things that was uh, right on uh, course uh, for some of the things that have taken place this season. But thought the offense came out. They had a great 14-play drive and really uh, looked good. I think four, uh, three of the five drives in the first half went for touchdowns. And uh, you had another great drive. One of those drives went for uh, 10 plays and went for 42 yards. And um, and then uh, started the second half. Again, we had to settle for a field goal, but came out at halftime and had a 13-play drive. And then we had four really uh, poor drives uh, in a row. I couldn't get into sync, and then uh, finished it with uh, scoring 10 points there in the in the uh, fourth quarter to uh, help seal the game. So really uh, um, good to see uh, some of the improvement there. Um, rushed just south for 100. 82 yards south of 200 yards, and uh, you know, I thought the the defense um, uh, didn't like you know the we had a 12 play drive we gave up at the end of the first half, and a um, 11 play drive there at the end of the first half gave up 10 points there in the last or uh, seven points in the field goal that they missed, um, and then they came out the second the second half again uh, two weeks in a row, and they went. Uh, nine plays, 75 yards, and we knew again they were very uh, good offense, and uh, they would challenge us, but just really did some some poor things uh, there. And, and again, that, they, they scored on again fourth and goal there, and it, uh, you know it's the small details, the smallest things have the biggest consequences usually, and we we don't react as fast as we need to, need to underneath uh, in coverage there, and the back is able to chew up too much grass there and, and have a bang bang play there but but then we really got into a really good rhythm on defense and helped uh, slam the door I think in the second half they had just over 100 yards and under four yards per play um, in 14 of 32 passing some uh, you know Jackson uh, rush for um, had a really good night rushing uh, you know the football. Uh, Danny uh, Stutzman surpassed uh, 300 career tackles, had another double-digit tackle night. Billy Bowman had his 10th career uh, interception. And then our Mason Thomas was just fantastic there in the, in the uh, second half. And uh, certainly late, three sacks, uh, four fumble, fumble recovery, a PBU, and a quarterback hurry. So just a fantastic job. That's 87 straight games that we've won when we've hold, held our opponent to 22 points or less. And, uh, and again, uh, we, we made improvement. We were number, uh, five out of five again in the red zone. So that's 100% on the year, uh, which going in tonight was tops in the country and uh, made great improvement on third down. We'd like to see a little more balance, continue to do what we did in the first half. I think we were six out of eight on third down in the first half, so uh, needed to maintain that rhythm But for the for the day, 50% there. So, uh, you know, take the improvement and uh, plus one in the turnover margin again, so we're plus eight uh, on the season. And, uh, you know, would have loved it. Would have been, a you know, a great night. Uh, had we found a way to, to stop them there on their on their fourth down, uh, that they scored their second half touchdown. But uh, other than that, again Taylor Tatum had a uh, had a, a rushing touchdown and a his touchdown reception, so that was his first. And again, uh, Jackson had again a longest quarterback run uh, that we've had in a couple of years. It was a 47 yarder. Uh, and also had uh, the 24-yarder. Had se several guys make their first start tonight: Logan Howland, Zion Raggins, Grayson Halton, and Kobe McKenzie. And uh, they all did some really, really good things. And again, uh, Logan played a lot last week and had another good night, uh, you know, as well. And 
You know, Zion Raggins had a really competitive catch, showed a great catch radius there. And again, uh, Grayson and Kobe uh, both had really good nights as well. Tyler Keltner, again, two out of two. And uh, and we snapped, uh, you know, the other uh, field goal on time. You know, he hit the 50-yarder as well. So that was encouraging. thought, uh, again, our guys ran really hard running the football. Uh, Gavin and uh, Javante, Taylor, uh, Taylor Tatum, thought they all ran the ball uh, with a great purpose. Uh, really good toughness tonight as well against a loaded box. Brent, can you describe the, the renewed effort during the week maybe? Uh, I don't think, think it was renewed. The Again, I, just, I, th- football I think, yeah, with um, practicing with, with um, confidence and Insert. making imp- improvement Insert. fundamentally and aggressively and not uh, – you know, not playing with caution, you know, letting it rip, uh, you know, being more precise at, you know, running routes or blocking perimeter, second level, um, and our guys up front, you know, getting a little more uh, movement and um, playing with a little more um, aggressiveness. What about getting Jackson involved in the ground game as well? Yeah, I mean, again, I think we've done that the first couple of weeks, and I think that's – uh, you know, can always be a really um, put people in a, in a predicament from a number standpoint in a plus one run game. Uh, about every team we play on our schedule, every single every single one of them is going to do it, and uh, and, uh, and it puts you uh, you know in a bind if you also you know can throw it you know as well. So uh, it ran with good toughness. And uh, really good. He'll get better and better with this feel for things. Brent, Brent, you, you know, when they down, when they got the, when they got the pick six, your defense seemed to take back control of the game. How did you feel like your defense? Yeah, I think spot? that's you know you know great question. It's important that man you you control what you can control. Your job is to stop people and. Uh, coaches did a great job of constantly nurturing that mindset instead of bitching and moaning, complaining and pointing fingers, which you see it happen a lot. Uh, guys looked at it as an opportunity and responded and uh, really uh, proud of those guys for having that, you know, tough mindedness, you know, to lane. Yeah, we, we left them open uh, plenty of times and then they made some really good competitive plays like we knew they could do. And, uh, and again, uh, that's a program that's, you know, won just south of 25 games the last two years, a program that has a really good, strong foundation culturally and, and roster-wise and and uh, some really good players and, and uh, their staff did a, did a great job. You know, I'd probably be remiss if I didn't say, man, they, they showed up and, you know, they played with toughness and gave themselves a chance to win. And we had an opportunity up 21-0 to really, uh, to me, slam the door. And then uh, we let them back in it. And um, again, it's a four-quarter game, but I really felt we um, we had some opportunities to to really uh, you know put it out of reach, and we weren't able to do that. So we're not we're not to that point yet. But uh, I really appreciate the defense's resolve there in the second half. After that, giving up a heartbreaking you know fourth down, fourth and goal play, you know that landed right there on the goal line. Can you talk about the first down success that you guys did have? It seemed like in some of those sustained drives, you made positive. Yeah, and I think it's important that, you you know, at times in the first half, they were able to stay on schedule. You know, we were a little soft interiorly with our defense with the piles falling forward. There's nothing that's more um, agonizing um, when you watch the pile go the wrong way. And I uh, thought that um, whether it was, you know, some of the quick passing game uh, or some of the run game, I thought our guys did a nice job of mixing things up and changing the launch points and some of the uh, route combinations and things of that nature to keep them off balance. Brent, you talk about uh, Jackson's uh, running game today. Mm-hmm. Would you make the decision-making? Do you feel like it took a step forward today, both in, you know, when it comes to the RPOs? Today? Yeah, again, I would have to go back and uh, look at it. You know, I think that's um, only fair, but, um, I do. Um, uh, a little less RPOs, and you know, had the one he'd certainly like to get back. You know, when we're uh, under pressure there in that situation, and uh, but top to bottom, um, definitely took a step forward. Brent, what does Taylor Tatum give you that maybe a little, every every running back's obviously different? But what does he give you that maybe a little different? Um, he's got, you know, he's got great, you know, uh, physical stature. He's got a great physical presence to him. He's incredibly explosive. He's got 
really good instincts. Um, he can play a little fast sometimes, and uh, like a lot of young guys. Uh, so learning the value of uh, patience, but uh, he can run through trash. Um, he's a legit home run hitter. Uh, can take it the distance. He's got great top end speed. Showed he can catch the ball out of the backfield. And uh, we had a couple of those tonight that was really good. And we had another one we dropped uh, out in space and got to make people pay. If they're going to give you that, you got to catch it and make someone miss and make a play. But, um, you know, Taylor's got a great, you know, future in front of him. He continues to just keep his head down, show up, work, compete. And he likes to play. That's what is fun about him. He's got a great spirit to him, likes to practice. He likes to play. Brent, what, what happened on the uh, delay of game on the, the field goal trying to Yeah, we're, we, again, we thought at some point in time they would uh, snap the ball, and um, we never did. And um, so we got to do a better job from a communication standpoint and get the snap. Does Tyler have to, like, signal a ready right there, and then Josh has to signal a ready, and yeah. then the snap comes? Mm -hmm. The signals never come? Uh, yeah. I, uh, Tyler he just blew it. Okay. Yeah. Mason, what clicked on from there in the fourth quarter? Well, I mean, we finally got them in a position where they had to throw. I think that's the number one thing. And, uh, you know, when we got up two scores, they had to throw the ball. You know, the time was their enemy. Timeouts, you know, were now an issue. And they were, their, their backs were against the wall for the first time really all night. And um, that's a team very similar to Houston and how they managed the game. And, and again, we we um, uh, we helped them just in regards to allowing the game to stay close, uh, where they could play tight and they could not expose themselves. And um, but that's really what I think uh, happened. What, what does it say about Jackson Fazal that he didn't let things snowball after that pick six? Yeah, no, it shows a sign of again um, maturing, and uh, you know. Uh, he's again, like I said, he's hard on himself, and uh, and to see him, he can just keep his head down and go through the week. That's a, again a step forward and a learning experience. Uh, obviously, there's some signs there where guys know, you know, what we're capable of. I mean, put things together and you know, uh, show up with a great week of practice and show up. You know, on game day, and just man, turn it loose. Don't worry about anything. You can't play this game uh, with caution. You can't play it, you know, on your heels. You have to, you know, be in an attack mindset, uh, be confident and uh, sure of yourself. And and then we got to do a good job of always helping them, you know, structurally and how we set things up. So all of it plays together. But thankful uh, for his leadership and toughness that he showed throughout the course of the weekend tonight. Brent, I think Brent you started was, out five of six on third down uh, early in the game. The offensive line seemed to be playing well. How do you kind of evaluate and how do you kind of navigate this time when you know your offensive line has to play better, uh, but they haven't gotten there yet? Like, how do you go about getting better as an offense? With that? You mean for the whole game? They, they yeah, hadn't I mean, gotten. Obviously, it fell off in the second half, but early they played. Seemingly pretty well. Yeah, early they played really good. Um, we had, again, like I said, four straight drives where it wasn't good. And then, uh, you know, we had a couple of penalties late that were just, you know, we had three penalties. You know, two of them, same guy, got to get lined up onside. Uh, we know that. And then, you know, we had a false start uh, there as well. And, uh, and then we had, you know, we scored 10 points there uh, late where they did some good stuff. So you evaluate it all as a body of work, you know, and you compare to where you were uh, last week and the week before that. And then when you started uh, fall camp and uh, you have to have the right perspective. But uh, there was definitely some improvement. And again, like I said, there's some uh, some plays there that you know, we didn't do. Uh, things we need to do gave up pressure and they're never going to play perfect but did they make improvement and um and they certainly did how close was kendall tonight to being cleared and how did his the guys behind him play yeah um uh, what do you mean how close like percentage or what does that mean yeah, did you think he might he might have a chance to play during the week at we all? were hoping yeah yeah mm -hmm. how did the guys play behind him that came in good yeah woody and sammy got in there and did some good things jaron got in there and some of the heavy packages they did, they did well Brent, uh, got Tennessee next. Yeah. Uh, clearly, you you know you trust Jackson, but what is your trust level for a guy making his fourth or fifth start in a game that big? Well, they're all big. 
<laughs> I don't look at any game any different. I, I never have. And, uh, you know, it's about us. Maybe that's and, tough. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry? Maybe that's tough instead of big. I mean, Tennessee yeah. appears to be the real deal. Yeah, they got a great team. Uh, they sure do. They got a really good team. So, uh, you know, we'll, I've got great confidence, you know, and uh, we'll put together a good game plan. We got to improve this week. We, it's, uh, this week is important, you know, that's going to be a, a, you know, great matchup. And um, when I know our guys are uh, excited uh, about and looking forward to, uh, you get into this game, you, put the pads on, you put the helmet on, you put the whistle around your neck because you like to compete and you like challenge. And uh, there certainly we'll have all, uh, you know, you could ask for this week. And uh, we're going to have to play well. And uh, we know that it's going to be a really physical game. Our, our, our um, biggest physical challenge up to this point in time. And uh, But uh, like where we're at, we're 3-0. And uh, we got a lot we got to get better at in all three phases. And again, the going to be just like you said, man, it's going to be our toughest challenge yet. Brian, we saw Nick, 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 and Nick Anderson, Brian Hickman, and closely. He did. You know, you saw him in pregame warmups. Looked pretty good, and uh, but just wasn't quite uh, there. So uh, hopefully, we'll we'll have him and maybe some other guys. that will be back this week. How's uh, How's Andrew doing? Because it's good. Seen yeah, yeah, I saw him out there in pregame without his brace on, so that was encouraging. It's good. Thanks, All right, Brian. appreciate it.